Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how I have integrated the lockout menu W lockout and the lock screen sway lock into Hyperland. W lockout is a customizable lockout menu for Valent compositors. For example, sway or of course Hyperland. W lockout can be easily styled with the file style.css a cascading style sheet definition. And with this, you can effectively integrate graphically the logout menu into your existing window manager. And we will connect W logout with SwayLock. SwayLock is the screen lock utility for Wayland compositors. And also SwayLock will work with Hyperland. We will install SwayLock effects, a fork from the original SwayLock, which comes with screenshots and a lot of built-in image manipulation effects. And in addition, we will install Sway Idle, an idle daemon for Wayland. With Sway Idle, we can start SwayLock after a defined amount of time if your mouse or your keyboard has not been used. This is important for security reasons. And in combination with the standby mode of your monitor, it's also a great power saver on your laptop. As always, you can find all my dot files of wlogout, of swaylog, and the required scripts on my GitLab repository. Let's start. Let me start with wlogout. When I click here on my exit button, then wlogout pops up. And you see here six possibilities to proceed. You can lock the screen, you can log out from the current session, you can suspend or hibernate you can shut down your computer or you can reboot. When you click on escape, you are back on your desktop. I have also defined a key binding with super key control Q. I can also start W log out. You see here that the active button has a border with a color from the wallpaper. Again, this is generated with Pywall. And when I change the wallpaper and I open W logout again, you see the color has changed. Let's escape, reload the wallpaper again. And again, the color has changed. And this, by the way, the same color that I use on my terminals. Let's open again W log out and click on lock. And now sway lock starts. And you see here the clock in the middle, the, the circle around with the current date, plus the wallpaper that is currently used on my desktop, but with a nice pixel effect. And when I enter now my password, I go back to my desktop. Let's close it and change the wallpaper again. When I lock the screen now, you see again the current wallpaper will be used by SwayLock. You can install wlockout with yay s wlockout. And if you want to use these special effects, um, that you have just seen, then you have to install a special sway lock package. It's sway lock effects. It's in the dot config folder or in the um, dot files folder that is connected to the dot config folder via symlinks. You have to open the folder w logout. You see here several files. The layout. Let's open first. You see here um, the buttons that are used by wlogout and the action means the command that will be executed if you click on one of the buttons. For example, the lock command is sway lock. The hibernate is systemctl hibernate. Logout is done with login CTL terminate user and your current username. Shutdown is with system CTL power off. Suspend with system CTL suspend and reboot with system CTL reboot. 
you can define the label and you can also define a key bind. Let's close it again and open style.css. So this is the file where you style your W logout screen. I start with importing a color file that is generated with PyWall based on my current wallpaper. But this is your choice. You can, of course, also hard code the colors in this config file. Then I define the font family. I use Fira Sans Semi Bold, but there are also alternative fonts that you can use here. I have no background image. The background color is a gray with a very high transparency. So when I click here, you see that I have a high transparency in the background. The button font color is white. The font size is 20 pixels. The background repeat, the background position and the background size defines the icon position and the size um, of the icon. The border style is solid. The background color is again a gray with a lower transparency and the border width is three pixel in white. Let's check it again. Here you see it's a bit lower transparency and the border color is white. Every button gets a shadow. Let's open it again. You see here a light shadow around the buttons. And you see here the focus active and hover state. The font color is the color from PyWall. The background color is has a bit, again, a bit less transparency and the border is also using the same color from the font selected from the wallpaper. You see that the border is now colored with the color from the background. And you can also define your own icons yeah, for the buttons. And you can create, for example, a folder icons in the W logout folder and upload here the several icons. Then we have a border radius defined of 20 pixels. You see it here. And a margin of 10 pixels. And the result is this layout. Let's jump to Swaylock. Again, you have to create a folder Swaylock to define your configurations. And this time it's only one file. It's only one config. And this is the configuration of Swaylock. Let's open a terminal and start Swaylock manually with by entering Swaylock. Here is Swaylock. We start again with a font, Fira Sans Semi Bold. The clock, it defines the format of your time and your date. And then you can define how Swaylock should deal with the background image. And there you have here two options. What I'm using is the current wallpaper. And every time I change my wallpaper, I create a copy in the cache folder and name it current wallpaper.jpg. With that, I make sure that this file is always the wallpaper that I'm using, the current wallpaper. And with the image parameter, I can set this as a background image for Swaylog. Let's change the wallpaper again. You see it in the background, or I can also switch to the second workspace and open Swaylog again. And you see this is my current wallpaper. But you can also use a screenshot from your current desktop. Let's save it and start Spaylog again. And now you see a current screenshot. I prefer using that background image. The fade in time is the time for fading in Swaylock. I set this to one second. 
and here are several effects for the background. At the moment, I'm using the effect pixelate with the factor 5, but I can also do something different. I can also set a blur effect. Let's start spray look, and now it's blurred. But I can also set a grayscale effect. And now you have your wallpaper with a grayscale effect. The nice thing is that you can combine all effects. So a blur, a grayscale and a pixelate. And this is the result. This is the indicator. So if you comment this out, the indicator disappears. But when I enter my password, the indicator is coming back. I have currently defined an indicator radius of 200 and it looks like that. But you can also easily increase the size, for example, to 300. And now it's much bigger. Again, this is your choice. And then you can also define the indicator thickness. I have defined a 20 for me. Uh, an indicator caps lock is there, so that sends a note when your caps lock key is pressed. And then you have here the definition of all the colors to individualize your um, sway lock even more. I like it relatively clean, that's why the most of the colors are white. And this is sway lock. Let me show you another trick. If you want that sway lock starts after a defined amount of seconds, you can do this with Sway Idle. Sway Idle is a service that is running in the background and is monitoring your usage of your mouse and your keyboard. And if you are act not active, then you can start a script. Let me show you that command. I've created a script called lockscreentime.sh and you see here that if sway idle is installed, then I execute the command sway idle with dash w, then the timeout of 300 seconds and it's the parameter dash f. And after a timeout of 360 seconds, I disable or I switch off my monitor into the standby mode. And if I grab my mouse or my keyboard again, then I activate my monitor again. With that command, you can do this. Important is that you run Sway Idle or the script with the start of Hyperland. When I switch into the Hyperland folder and open the Hyperland conf, you see here that in the auto start sections, I execute once, means at the start with Hyperland, the script that I have just showed you. And then after 300 seconds, sway lock will start automatically. And after 360 seconds, the monitor will be switched off and goes into the standby mode. And this is a very nice integration to save a bit power, to save your battery. And yeah, it's just cool that everything can be set up manually and individually um, on your Hyperland installation. WLockout and SwayLock are again great examples how special and how customizable Linux Window Manager are. Again, I had a lot of fun in customizing the both applications to my personal needs and I can only encourage you to do the same on your Window Manager. Create your own personal desktop environment. And with that, see you next time.